Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have a little quick review on the Fendi Nano Baguette Bag Charm. So if you guys are interested, then just keep watching. Alrighty guys, so as always with our reviews, we always have the timestamps listed in the description bar if there's a specific thing that you wanted to know so you can check that out but so let's just get started with the general overview so this is what it looks like it does have a little charm on the back right over here if you guys have the old version of this the old version does have kind of like a belt loop in the back and i mean i've seen a lot of people talk about it too we wish it still had the old back loop on it the belt loop on it but unfortunately it does not so this one is the newer one where it just has the charm right over here this is how you click it in right here obviously it looks like a little nano baguette bag i do have the one that's kind of like the glazed canvas one whereas they do have the normal fabric version as well i believe they are the same price but i don't know i don't personally i don't really like how the fabric one looks all for the nano baguette i think the glazed one for the nano looks a bit better and then it just goes like this so this is what it looks on the inside obviously it does have a chain right here the chain is removable it's just kind of like a little necklace a little close-up so it just looks like this just clip it off like this and it's super easy so this is what the inside looks like there's actually what i really like about this is that you can actually fit quite a bit in here and we'll show the what fits later on but so it does have this one compartment right here but then there's also a little back card holder right here which is i think is awesome for it and then yeah this is literally just what it looks like this flap can go like this either way so you can hook this onto any of the bags that you have with a little d-ring on it or you can fit this on your pants like where the belt loop or the slacks loop is and it just hangs like that or you of course can wear it cross body so i'm going to put this back on really quick so this is how long the chain is i'll put the length of the chain somewhere over here and then what my essay told me to make this chain shorter all you have to do is twist it so this is what it looks like see how they're parallel lines and then all you have to do is twist it like this and then when you close it it's actually a lot shorter too i'll put down right here how much the length changes when you twist it as well just to be a little bit more helpful super small details it does say fendi right here where the button is right over here you can see that and then it also does say fendi twice on the little button and then last little detail i think the ring light might be washing it out but it does say fendi right over here as well so yeah so these are the last little close-ups so this is what it looks like you can see the glazing on it and then this is what the back looks like and then here's a close-up of what the chain looks like i'm not a jewelry person but there is a name for this type of interlocking chain Alrighty, so in terms of pricing, this glazed one is considered the brown fabric charm and this one is $750. So they actually have a ton of different ones. So they have the white Napa leather charms, like the one that Cassie Thorpe has. Hers is $1,100. That's the one with kind of the really thick lilac band. So they have a bunch of different fun ones. They have this purple crystal one, a multi-leather one from their last previous collection. Yeah, they have a bunch that you guys can look at. I definitely think they have way more online than they do have in store. They even have a shearling one, which is really cute as well. Oh, I actually really like this one. So as you can see here, this one has like the rainbow color, so it's canvas, but it has kind of like the pastel colors, which I actually really, really like. It has like the green, the yellow, the peach, blue on it, which I think is super, super cute. And that one obviously is a little bit more because it's embroidered, so that one's $890. But then they have their tons of the Napa leather ones. I saw the blue one in store. So the Napa leather ones are $40 more expensive, but they have so many different colors. I know the black one is very popular as well. And then they have the original fabric one too. My essay was telling me that the one with all of like the beads on it was really popular, which is surprising to me because it's so expensive. I mean, I get it. I think it's like hand-sewn of the crystals but yeah i don't know to me it looks kind of weird but that one she told me was really really popular as well and yeah Alrighty, so i thought we would do a couple size comparisons first so i am keeping the chain on but the chain is removable just to repeat myself so let's compare it with a couple popular items so if you want to see a size comparison between the mini pochette really quick somebody told me in the comments i've been saying it wrong this entire time and i'm so sorry if that offended you before so i kept saying like pochette 
I honestly don't remember what I said it, but I did say it incorrectly and it's pochette. I have to have the little puh, you know, very little fancy. So it's pochette. So this is my mini pochette. So if you want to see the size comparison, this one is a lot bigger. It just looks like this in terms of width and shape like this. Okay. I thought these ones would be the most comparable between sizes. So I genuinely feel like the Fendi baguette, the nano baguette can fit so much more than this can, but this one's cheaper. Than this is i think this is like when i well i didn't buy this but when i wanted to get this it was like 750 i believe but i think this is like 890 now but this one you can actually definitely fit more because this is literally just a cord holder on chain do you see how it kind of tapers down like this whereas this one actually has space so you kind of can see a side by side how much thicker this one is compared to this one but if you're talking about size-wise, this one is a little bit longer, just ever so slightly like that. Some other comparisons is with the classic Chanel card holder. So if you want to just see it like this. It's about, mm, it's a little bit shorter than the Chanel card holder is, if you can see it like that. And then the last little comparison I actually wanted to compare with the Prada Re-Edition pouch. Because they're conceptually very similar. Obviously, this one doesn't have the chain, but they both have the little leather tabby on the back like this. So you guys can kind of see. So horizontally, this is what they look like. So they're very, very similar. The Fendi baguette is slightly, just slightly bigger or longer, I would say. But yeah, so this is a little size comparison like this. Alrighty. Just for reference, if you guys own any of these or if you guys are thinking of getting any of these, Alrighty, so let's now do what everybody's been waiting for, the what fits. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys just random things first. I don't know if you guys want to see how many cards this can hold. So this is my normal wallet. So I'm going to just take out all the credit cards that I have. So I have 11 cards. This is my driver's license. So 11 cards do fit in here. It fits a lot. You guys can see that. So let's just say, so this is a Lululemon coin pouch. So this does not fit. If you guys can see that, this is way too big. But I have a little Aquaphor tube. So the Aquaphor tube actually does fit in here as well. Okay, let me just, so this is my key fob. I'm just going to take this off. Okay, so I'm going to take my key fob. And so you can actually, so mind you, there's 11 credit cards in here, an Aquaphor tube, and car keys. If you guys can see that and then let's see if it can close so it can close it is a bit stuffed if you guys can see that the little tab so when it flicks out like that it is a bit stuffed but it does close okay so now let's do a little bit more realistic i don't need all these credit cards so in general let's just take one credit card we're just gonna take three we're gonna have a debit card driver's license and a credit card so let's just do three credit cards now i'm gonna put the credit cards actually in the back pocket right over here so then this area if you guys can see that so i have the three credit cards right in the back pocket and then this whole compartment is open oh and then just to show you guys so this is just your typical aquaphor so it fits about this way if you show it like this but then obviously i would dip it down like this and then you can put like this and then it closes you still have actually a little bit of space here. You actually could fit in maybe, um, let's see in terms of bills. I actually do have a lot of cash on me right now. Uh, what is this, $80? Okay, so you can, so obviously this does have a little bit of space. So you actually could fit the cash with the cards on this side and then still have space over here so this little flap in the back actually fits quite a bit which is really really nice okay so obviously we all love the dior lip glows so i just want to show you in case you guys have like the lip maximizers because these ones are a little bit longer to show you just lengthwise that this does fit in here so obviously if that one fits then the original ones just again for reference, if you guys don't know, the lip maximizers are a little bit longer than the original lip glows. Do you see the length difference? So the fact that this one actually, mind you, there's still three cards in here. This one fits perfectly in here, and then you can actually fit another one. But probably vertically, max you can 
fit actually no you can fit three so it does stick out no so as you can see here it doesn't button all the way if there's three even if i force it down so i would say two is the max but if you have like a small one just if you apparently going lip crazy you can have the dior lip glow the lip gloss and then a little aquaphor i think can actually fit yeah and it can close too so now you have three lippy products in here let's see if you can do the lip maximizer the dior one and then we're gonna have a key fob in here and it does fit perfectly so if you just need your car keys one lip product and then a couple cards this is perfect and then lastly to show you guys to if airpods can fit in here so i'm gonna take this off for space oh my gosh it's so dirty okay so these are my regular airpods so again like i said there's still three cards in the back and then airpods can fit in here and then we're gonna have your little key fob like that so you can fit airpods and then a key fob in here which is really nice or you can fit the airpods and then a little aquaphor yeah you just have to like rearrange it slightly but it closes like that so this is super super convenient this fits way more than any of the pouches the normal pouch can't fit stuff just because of the shape like i said it's tapered down so you can't fit i mean you could technically but it would look very so this is just one airpod in here and it already just kind of looks a little weird i feel like that would be the max because let's say i try to put like that i mean it closes but i don't know i feel like this this isn't as convenient like for example can i fit two lip gloves it's like i can but then it makes this very oblong if you guys can see that just because again the shape of this is a lot different whereas the nano fendi baguette bag is a lot more uniform Alrighty, so the pros and cons of this i mean the pros i feel like there's a lot so it's awesome that the strap is removable and the fact that you are allowed to shorten it by just twisting it which is really really convenient when you do twist it it actually does sit way better on the body the lengthwise so just go like this and it is a lot shorter so what's also really wonderful about this that i've talked about before is that it does have two separate compartments so you have the main compartment right here and then you do have the little card holder side on the back which is really really nice and then of course you have this little loop right here i actually really like so when i first saw this online i thought that it had to stay up like this but I actually really like that you can actually tuck it underneath so when you do use this as a bag charm it can hang but then at the same time if you want to just use this as is you can just you know hide it so no one would really know because it'd be laying against your body so I love that this can go up or down I love actually how thin the chain is compared to the Dior chain I mean to each their own maybe some people don't like the thin chain but i actually really like it so just comparing so if you guys can see that the dior chain is significantly thicker than the fendi baguette chain but i actually really like how thin it is i think it looks really delicate and it does look really nice another pro is that they do have this available in all sorts of different like designs and colors and styles you can get the beaded one you can get the shearling ones you can get the napa leather ones are really really pretty i actually really like the blue napa leather one and they do have this in canvas i like that you have the option of getting it glazed or fabric um whichever one you prefer it's a lot and it's just great honestly if you don't really want to invest in an entire baguette bag which is totally understandable because honestly before i tried on the actual medium baguette i was just so set like i knew i wanted something from fendi and i honestly thought my first fendi piece was going to be the nano baguette and i thought the second fendi piece i was going to get would be the peekaboo because that is their signature thing but i don't know just trying on the baguette styles in general i just feel like it's a lot more me right now but i'm sidetracking here so i think this is a very good thing if you're just into exploring other brands i feel like this is a great kind of starter into it you kind of first are introduced just to the signature style and the fendi logo right here which is really cute as well if you like the ff zuka print but if you think their original canvas one is kind of a little too much ff like it is very like fendi overload this i think is just a great little piece to add which is the reason of why i bought it because it's it's ff but it's not like too crazy it's very subtle it's very minimal which is really really nice i mean cons cons let me think i mean i guess the price would be a con i mean it's cheaper than the dior nano pouch but i mean 750 dollars is still 
a bit expensive. I don't even know how much this was before their price increase in January. Yeah, like 750 is still a lot because the way I think about it too is like, let's say I want the Celine Ava bag. So this is $750 and it's a nano bag. So for what, like $500 more, you could have an actual purse if that makes sense whereas this is obviously it's tiny it's very very small it depends just like why you're buying this because i love that this could be decorative for another bag if you want to just like be a little bit extra but it can also act as a purse on its own if it's just kind of like a grab and go because this really does fit like you can put credit cards in here cash airpods um lip balm like those are basically the essentials of an everyday person but other than that i don't really feel like there's any cons to this because you can't be like oh it's a little too small like this is a nano baguette bag that doesn't even count as a con you know what i mean so yeah so my final thoughts on the nano baguette bag uh definitely i definitely recommend it if you are looking into kind of introducing yourself to the fendi brand again like i'm not a fendi expert at all i'm super super new you don't want to stay too committed to getting to spending like 3300 dollars on a full-on fendi baguette bag i feel like this is a great little starter and it's surprising how much this fits like that little card holder on the back side i just i love it like this is a nano baguette bag but there's still a little divider on it so i think that's awesome and i genuinely do love this part i know a lot of people wish that it was the old version where it had the belt loop on the back but i'm fine with this because you can just clip it onto your pants and then you're good to go so yeah alrighty guys so we have come to the end of today's video i hope you found this little review helpful if you guys have any additional questions about the nano baguette bag please leave them down below and i will reply as soon as i can and as always if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys